So I'm here backstage at Days After Comedy Festival preview show for Demon FM with Pat Cahill. Pat, how are you doing? I'm very well, yeah. I've, I've gone on and done the, uh, the serious bit now and I've got a little appearance later. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm very well, yeah. It went all right, I think. I was the second on after Jimmy Cricket, which I never thought I'd say in my life. Um, <laughs> but I was chuffed to be there and it was lovely, yeah. Great. Are they a tough crowd out there tonight? Uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, I'm relatively new, I don't think they know me, so it was an exploration for them and myself. But it, you know, I got some laughs, I got, a, I got a clap at one point after doing a long worded bit, which was a relief, <laughs> um, and then I went off, and I'm here. You say you're pretty new, what, 2012 has been a bit of a whirlwind year for you? Would you yeah, say? 2012 yeah. was a good year, uh, got, yeah, got a few things that uh, made it kick off a little bit. Um, uh, a few competitions, things that I did well in, and uh, profile boosts and stuff. So yeah, 2012 been been busy, but good. Which camera is it, by the way? You're on that one. Oh, no. We're both on that one. Okay. So we can give them a bit of a wave. Um, <laughs> fans, fans of you uh, will probably There's know. There's two of them. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure we're all fans him in the room. Him and him. <laughs> and me. I'm and sure. Uh, <laughs> three. I'm sure You're fans will probably. This, uh, I am recording this. <laughs> With your eyes and your head. <laughs> um, fans probably know you for your your kind of wireless, hands-free. Yeah, yeah. Come on, what are you do with this? This is a fucking. This is ridiculous. <laughs> um, did you did you make that yourself? Uh, no, uh, Japan. They're, they're about twenty p. You can get two thousand of them. No, I did make it myself. Um, it was a coat hanger with some tape on. Yeah. And, and is that the same? Is it been the same coat hanger? Whether you had to make any it's adjustments? Been that, that one's been there for a while. I lost another one. There's another one hanging up in Bath Comedia. If you, uh, if anyone sees this, then uh, I could do it at the back. It's got flowers on that one. I had a flowery one to start with, ah, and I then I went back to basics. You know, stripped it down and gave myself the real me, which is you know <laughs> just tape and a microphone. But so we know what mood you're in, depending on what on what stand I'm holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got another one with lights. <laughs> you're also kind of known for combining hip hop and comedy. Well, yeah, I do a couple of songs. Uh, one of them's not not necessarily hip hop; it's it's electronica. It's a French producer called Mr. Wazo, who's hugely famous. Did flat beat, mm -hmm. so I just uh, I nicked that that song because I was listening to my iPod, and uh, I came up with a joke around that and made it into a, a rap along to that. So, um, uh, and the other one was hip hop, uh, which my mate Will did. Uh, but I've, I'm, I've got no desire to be known as a hip hop comedian. As no, such. It's so just, it's just a sort of. Bible. Well, I've got I've got written here. I've put you kind of as the Jay Z of comedy, but would you oh, not say yeah, that? Yeah, well, um, my girlfriend's got a lovely bum. <laughs> so, in that sense, you would put yourself as yeah, yeah, as kind well, of uh, whatever. My girlfriend's got a lovely bum. She's uh, jelly's too much for me. <laughs> Let alone these guys here. Um, you were talking kind of about your, your your snippets of songs you've done. Chicken Mix is one of them. Yeah, that's yeah. the Mr. Wazzo one. Yeah, we did that with the BBC, so I had to get clearance from the uh, wonderful producer, Mr. Wazzo. I, I always say this because a lot of musical comedians don't like what I do because we're well, not known, but oh, that, can, we, can, we cut, can we cut that out? Um, uh, that I think they think they, 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 I, got, I often get asked where did who, did you do your own music? Did you, you know, sort of, you, if you can do your own music, then you're fucking I'm a genius. But I don't. My mate Will does it, um, and uh, and so I. Uh, what was the question? Well, the, the, the question I was going to ask you really was: Are you a chicken guy on a, po pre, a post night out delicacy? I once bought thirty seven pounds worth of chicken in KFC. <laughs> Uh, the like family or you know extended family bucket, whatever it's called. All for yourself? Um, no, I ate a, a, a wing and then threw up. Um, <laughs> not it wasn't. It wasn't like a, if you've seen that Colchester kidney. Someone in Colchester bought uh, some chicken from a KFC in Colchester, and it was a it looked like a brain, but it's actually a chicken kidney. I um, oh, really? bite out of it, and it was disgusting. Um, but no, I'd, uh, my friend Arnab Chanda, very good stand up. He. Uh, he said he'd like to do a joke about chicken, but he doesn't want to get known as the chicken guy. And I said, well, it would nice to be, a, it would nice to have a friend, you know, another chicken guy. Yeah. So that is, you know, so a lot of people don't. Oh, the chicken guy. <laughs> Which is great. Like the colonel. Yeah, like the yeah, like the the private, the lieutenant. Not the chicken colonel. Not the colonel. No. <laughs> so so you you would kind of choose chicken over a maybe a lamb donna or something like that. Uh, well, a good coffee is always nice, isn't it? Um, that's, that's Cause Leicester's that's known it. for its 
chicken. Yeah, I've been to yeah. Maryland. Um, you have been to Maryland? Yeah, a couple of times. It's like the Wild West, isn't it? You've been more than me then. You go, you go there and you, you hope to come out. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're true about that. Um, kind of going back to your comedy, who, who kind of influences you? Who, who, was, who has been your influence? Um, uh, uh, I've loved Vic and Bob, The Fast Show. Uh, Spike Milligan is probably like my hero. He's always, like, if I'm struggling or depressed, I'll go back to watching him and go, right, that's what, you know, that's what I like. But then the stuff I do isn't quite like that. So it's, you know, you take what you can from your influences and you try not to be too much like them. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it's, it's Vic and Bob, Spike Milligan, um, uh, Eddie Izzard, uh, Mighty Boosh, Sean Locke, oh, you know, the standard weird yeah, yeah, yeah. alternative stuff. And uh, apart from you, who should comedy fans be looking out for at Dave's Lesser Comedy Festival this oh, year? Oh, uh, John Kearns, I think, is coming up here. John's fantastic. I did, a, I did last festival. I did a double hander with him, and he's come on. He's come on lips and bounds. Uh, no, he's got more and more mental, which is an absolute joy to see. He's, yeah. His act is fantastic, and uh, yeah, just go for it. Bob Slayer uh, as well. He's here tonight. Um, oh, countless, really. Uh, there's loads of great people up this year. Um, but definitely, definitely John Kearns. Wicked. Well, thank you for joining us here backstage and enjoy, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Cheers.